Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's Friday the 23rd, September 23rd, and I just pulled up here to the shop. Kind of an early day today. It's about, eh, it's about three o'clock or so. Um, and I uh, got finished with my calls. Did I have too much going on? Um, most of it was actually running around doing a, uh, dropping off some warranty stuff and doing all that, the warranty process. Uh, for a train and I had to do a condenser coil warranty for uh, uh, for Lennox. Um, anyways, a couple of my subs were wanting a, a quick little video on an update, I guess with this company, how everything's going and figured I might shoot that while well, I got me a few minutes here. Um, yeah, guys, I mean, um, it's been doing pretty good. I mean, it's been really busy for the most part. Um, we, do, we have had within the last eh, about three weeks or so, three, four weeks, um, a few days where it's not as busy, you know, you have your little up and downs. Most of the um, uh, concentrated calls with, with with no cool stuff has has kind of passed. We kind of got all that taken care of. It's just you know whatever comes uh, whatever comes in from there on out. But um, um, we we did start today with my first day doing a uh, heat maintenance. Um, we're trying to get a head start on heat maintenance so when uh, hopefully we have a a nice cold winter and we can get some some service calls for for heating we'll be open to handle that as far as the the service call load rather than trying to mix in maintenance and service calls and get all that stuff all mixed up but um yeah today we just did a couple maintenance calls um Got to uh, fire up the old Testo 310. It's still it's still working. What I've been doing was is um, every month or so I've been kind of just turning it on, let it warm up and calibrate to keep the O2 uh, sensor uh, still going. Uh, one of the tech support guys from Testo mentioned to me that those O2 sensors, if you don't uh, fire them up, um, they'll go bad after a while if they just sit in your truck. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I, I I don't know if the 320 or the other uh, Testo combustion analyzers have the same issue, but that's what he recommended for the 310, so that's what I've been doing, and it's been fine. So that's good. Um, we got... I am working with my brother-in-law, and there's another buddy of ours that's uh, helping as well. My brother-in-law and the other guy, his name is Jonathan. My brother-in-law's name is Simeon. They don't um, they don't have any experience in this. They were doing, they were working completely different, uh, in a completely different industry prior to this. But they were wanting to, uh, uh, you know, make some extra money and kind of learn something new. So they've been kind of riding with us. So one day I'll have Jonathan, and the next day I'll have my brother-in-law and stuff like that. So we've been trying to teach them. Uh, you know good work habits good work ethics and kind of build them up from the ground up you know sometimes getting a, a, a guy to learn HVAC from scratch is better than getting a guy that's been doing it for 20 years and has had 20 years of bad habits um, so a lot of times they'll, they'll be stuck in their ways as well they don't they don't still, they just don't want to learn new things or they just don't give you the time of day to teach them um, but they're doing pretty good. They're learning. I mean, it's gonna take a while um, Right now, we're just trying to get them to the point where they can do some uh, Some PM work, you know change filters and flushing drains cleaning coils simple stuff like that for now um, The both of them just got EPA certified about a week or two ago. So um, Whenever we get a little slower we'll go ahead and Kind of go through refrigeration 101 and subcooling superheat and how to get your target superheat and all that fun stuff and kind of get them up to par with that so they can kind of uh, keep building up their uh, skill set in this field um but yeah that's pretty much it for the most part I mean, other than that guys you know we've been it's been busy um you know i'm selling jobs um doing service work doing install still not doing a whole lot of install but I, I do my fair share way more than I did with my old with my old company um, I just finished one up yes no sorry Wednesday 
I did a uh, my first mini split job from start to finish. I've with with my other company, I've you know replaced a bad condenser or you know a, a faulty air handler and swapped them out and stuff like that. But I've never done one from from scratch from start to finish. So this was my first time. So that was pretty neat. Um, uh, my boss went with a uh, a train which I've never seen. I didn't even know a train even makes a mini split to be honest with you, but apparently they do. Um, and, um, which is kind of weird because when, when I opened up the box, they give you a, a sticker for the outdoor unit and one for the air handler. And they give you an option to slap a train sticker or an American standard sticker, which was kind of weird, but it is what it is. The one thing, I don't know if it was just a, a fluke situation or what, but the one thing I did not like about those is um, when I opened up the box for the air handler, as well as the box for the condensing unit on that train mini split, neither box came with instructions. Neither box came with installation instructions. I had nothing. The only piece of paper I had within those two boxes was a little stupid warranty, you know, like a little warranty sheet that they send you and all that um which that was bizarre i mean i've i've dealt with lennox and i've dealt mainly with uh, mitsubishi um because my old company was a diamond dealer and uh you know you you get that stuff they have an, an air handler instruction manual as well as uh as a condensing unit uh installation manual so i thought that was really weird fortunately you know it's not rocket science to put those mini splits up um but you know the little details you I, I like to usually just scan through the uh the installation instructions to make sure train doesn't want it done differently than lennox or fujitsu or mitsubishi or whatever but it was definitely uh some good experience for sure um it was on a commercial job and um i wasn't able to get any footage on it because we, we it was just smoking hot outside and we were just trying to get it done you know i had I had to coordinate with the with the boom truck guy. He had to come to to bring, you know, uh, get the uh, lift the, the condensing unit up on the roof and all that fun stuff. So I just couldn't. I just didn't have enough time to get any footage on it. But um, hopefully, we should have a a job down in Morrow, which is a little bit past uh, further south of the airport here in the Atlanta area area, and. Um, I think we got four commercial split systems we got to do, um, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's gonna be next week, mid, late next week we got to do it. So I may end up getting some footage on that. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, uh, my testos are working good. I haven't had any issues outside of that leaky high pressure probe. I turned that in and to Johnstone and got it back, got a new one back and it's been working good. Um, other than that, guys, I mean, it's, everything's uh, everything's smooth. I've just been really busy. Hopefully, um, um, I usually have a little more time to, to get footage and edit them as well if I need to um, in the winter. Um, it's just That's just, I guess, the way it goes. But anyways, they don't want to take too much time on this video. I'm already... Yeah, sorry about that. That was my boss that called and interrupted the video. Anyways, guys, see you on the next one.